Mga atit mga kuya, welcome back to Kuya Puto's channel. Doon po sa last video ko, it's about the true cost of taking a vacation in the Philippines. Meron po akong na-mention na term. Ang dami pong na-triggered. This term was pasabay. Yes guys, pasabay. So I figure I make a video about it. And uh, pag-usapan natin kung bakit peste yung pasabay. So mga atit mga kuya, alam niyo po tayong mga Pilipino, napaka matulungin natin mga tao. We're so friendly. Lalo na po ngayon, malapit na yung Pasko. Tsaka marami po tayong mga kilala na magbabakasyon sa Pilipinas para doon sila magpasko. Okay? And sa ugali po natin mga Pinoy, hindi po maiiwasan na makisuyo. Dahil alam naman natin na yung uh, kaibigan natin or yung kakilala natin pupunta sa Pilipinas. So, you know, makikisuyo tayo, sasabihin natin sa kanila. Hindi po lahat, pero yung mga iba, sasabihin po natin sa kaibigan natin na uuwi, Hoy, pare, baka pwede naman pakisuyo tong regalo to. You know, nandun kasi yung misis ko, yung anak ko, yung aso ko, yung ko, or whoever, right? So, tayo naman po, sasabihin natin, oh, sige, ayos lang yun, ayos lang yun. Ano po tawag doon? It's pasabay. Believe it or not, dito po sa Google, Google itself has got a meaning for the term pasabay. Babasahin ko sa inyo, okay? So, sabi po ni Google, Pasabay means the practice where Filipinos travel to other countries to purchase specific items for their fellow Filipinos. So, yung pong iba, sasabihin nila, sige pare, bigyan na lang kita ng uh, $20, bigyan na lang kita ng $30, pwede, pakisuyo na lang itong regalong to sa, you know, sa ate ko, sa nanay ko, sa aso ko, sa pusa ko. <laughs> you know, kung sino-sino kung sino gusto nilang padalan sa Pilipinas, you know, ipapa sabay <laughs> doon sa trip ninyo. You know, lalo na po ngayon, napakamahal po ng ticket. Pag-iipunan niyo po yun ng napakatagal. Ticket is like $2,300 to $3,000 right now to go home to Philippines from Toronto dahil, you know, it's peak season, right? Pag-iipunan niyo yun. Tapos, pagpaplanuhan niyo po yun. Dahil, you know, you have to buy your own gifts. Your own gifts for your loved ones. Your loved ones. Okay? Laking plano po nun. Tapos, on top of that, marami po kayo magiging kakilala pag nalaman nila na uuwi kayo. O pakisuyo to. O pakisuyo yan. Guys, you know what? We should stop that behavior. Dahil peste po yun. Talagang peste. Nakaka-bad trip. Dahil, you know, hindi naman po sasabihin ng tao na, oh, ayoko niyan. Oh, ayoko niyan. You know, dahil busy busy ako. Dahil sasama po kayo, di ba? But, we need to stop that behavior. Just because na meron po kayong kakilala na uuwi, marami pong plano yun. Maraming uh, kailangan asikasuhin. For you to give that person the responsibility of dragging whatever gift it is that you have to pasabay to your whoever, buisit po yun. Peste yun. Dahil, trust me, yung nagpapasabay is the last person on the guy's priority list. <laughs> Dahil uuwi na po siya. Okay? Dahil napapansin ko po dito sa Canada, okay, pag merong... Uh, pag merong kaibigan or whoever na uuwi, marami pong tumatawag, nagsasabi, Hoy, you know, can you, uh, can I drop this off to your house? And, you know, lagay niyo sa luggage niyo and, you know, you can deliver it to, to whoever kapamilya ko sa Pilipinas pagdating mo doon. Or even worse, sasabihin po sa inyo, Hoy, can you, can you pick this up from my house so you can add it to your luggage para, you know, meron naman akong... Uh, Pasalubong dun sa mga minamahal ko sa Pilipinas. Guys, hindi po kayo bumili ng ticket. <laughs> yung pong tao na magbabakasyon ang bumili ng ticket. Okay, tapos, you know, magiging perwisyo pa po kayo sa mga plano niya. You know, it's even worse dahil, isipin nyo guys, 
Meron pang restrictions yung mga luggage and how much you can bring back home. Pag nag-over po kayo doon, kailangan magbayad yung magbabakasyon. Okay? Like, you can't bring like 10 boxes. <laughs> you know, the last time I checked, I think it's like two luggages and a hand carry. Tapos, dadagdagan nyo pa yun ng pasabay. Mali po yun. Dahil isipin nyo, guys, ang tagal pinlano na itong taong to para magbakasyon. Ang tagal nyo pong nag-ipon. Ang tagal nyo pong nagplano to get this vacation right tapos dadagdagan niyo pa po yung iisipin niya mali yun let that person enjoy his the fruits of his labor di ba tapos palagayin niyo na pumayag yung tao dahil mabait okay so yung pong laman ng luggage niya mapupuno and more than likely kung talaga napakabait ng taong yun mas madami pa yung pasabay kaysa dun sa dadalhin niya sa sarili niya para sa kanyang pamilya di ba Tapos, you have to you have to drag that sa airport. That's the worst part. Alam you guys, ako, and I'm probably the worst example for this because I pack light. I pack really light. The last thing I want to do when I'm traveling anywhere is to bring more stuff than I have to. Kaya po yung wife ko galit na galit sa akin. <laughs> Dahil anytime we go anywhere, I have one duffel bag. I have one gym bag and that's it. We need to stay away from this behavior as Pinoy's because yung po nagbabakasyon, hindi lang gustong sabihin sa inyo, Hoy, you know, ayoko, ayoko, ayoko. Dahil, you know, siya pa nga siguro mahihiya eh, <laughs> to say no, di ba? So, let's not take advantage of, of our friends or anybody who's, who's planning to go back home by, you know, adding extra luggage, adding extra responsibilities to, to what they have to do. Para sa bakasyon nila, di ba? So, isipin nyo guys, pagdating nyo sa airport, ang dami-dami yung dala. Tapos, half of the stuff probably won't even be yours. Okay? And you have to drag that all the way to the other side of the planet. Tapos, pagdating nyo po sa Pilipinas, it doesn't stop there. You know? Ang sama na nga dahil limited yung time nung nagbabakasyon sa Pilipinas. You know? What? Four weeks? If not less? Tapos dadagdagin nyo pa yung perwisyo na kailangan i-distribute na ito, i-deliver na itong taong ito na nagbabakasyon, your pasabay to whoever it is that you want to send it to. You know, he has to make arrangements. He has to go out of his way to make sure that your pasabay gets delivered to the proper people. <sighs> Buisip po yun. Peste yun. Dapat din natin ginagawa yun. Yung nagbabakasyon, yan mo siya magbakasyon. Kaya nga nagbabakasyon para... He can, he or she can spend time with his or her loved one once, okay? And dapat stress-free po yun or as stress-free as possible. And by adding pasabay into the equation that's not even his, that's adding to stress. And that's taking away from the time that he should be spending with his loved ones. So yun po ang issue ko sa pasabay. So guys, napakadaming ways po. Kung gusto nyo magpadala sa Pilipinas, kung nandito kayo sa Canada. Ang dami pong uh, remittance companies. Yung, you know, you fill up a box, a balik buying box, and you send it home. Or meron po akong kakilala, kaibigan ko, okay? Birthday ng asawa niya sa Pilipinas. And you know what? Instead of sending a box, you know what he did? Ang dami pong delivery service. Okay, sa Pilipinas, parang Uber Eats, parang skip the dishes dito sa Canada. So, he got one of those delivery services to send a cake and to send uh, a whole bunch of presents to his wife through one of those apps. So kung gusto po talagang gawa ng paraan, magagawa ng paraan. Tayo po mga Pilipino, hindi po natin namamalayan na perwisyo po yung ginagawa natin sa nagbabakasyon when we give them the responsibility of adding to their luggage through pasabay. Okay, hindi po tama yun. Let the person have a good time because, you know, it's not easy to take a vacation here from Canada to the Philippines. But at one point or another, everybody has been guilty of, you know, doing pasabay. So guys, hopefully, pag napanood nyo tong video ni Kuya Puto, at least matauhan po tayo. Okay, wag na tayo magpasabay. There's other ways without costing that person who's vacationing time, money, and effort. So sana naman po, Natuwa kayo ng konti or at least sana hindi kayo na-trigger dito sa video na to. Okay, I'm just speaking the truth. So, yes, 
Join me in the next video, guys. This is Kuya Puto wishing you good night, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Stay hungry, stay humble. Keep your hustle strong. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye for now.